you have a iPhone 11 or 11 Pro or even the 11 Pro Max and you have an issue where your SIM card or network card, when you haven't inserted it, it says no SIM or basically it's just not registering or perhaps it says no service or constantly searching. I'm gonna give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now. First thing I wanna note is that your phone uh, for example, it depends if it's locked or unlocked. If you bought your phone in the US, for example, and you bought it like at T-Mobile, then it's locked to T-Mobile. So you have to use a T-Mobile SIM card. If you bought a phone from like T-Mobile and you have a AT&T SIM card, it's not gonna work because it's locked to the T-Mobile. You have to first get the phone unlocked, okay? And you can basically just call like T-Mobile and tell them to unlock it. But just about all the phones you buy, like internationally, they, they all of them come unlocked, okay? Anyways, the first thing is this. Let me just go ahead and put this SIM card in here, and I'll show you what's supposed to happen up here. So if I go ahead and pop this in here, I should get some kind of reception bars up here. Let's see here. Okay, there it is right there. I see reception bars just popped on, so I know the SIM card is working. So you have an issue with your SIM card. First thing is this. I want you guys to go ahead and get your SIM ejection tool, and I want you to go ahead and take out the SIM card. If you don't have the SIM ejection tool, you can use like a thin paper clip or bobby pin as well, okay? So let's go ahead and pull this uh, card out. Now here's the SIM card and here's the SIM tray, all right? So good, grab the SIM card and I want you to go ahead and, and uh, pull it in a little bit and just rub the contacts with your thumb a little bit like this. And then go ahead and get the tray and you can see that diagonal slit on the bottom right hand side. Just put it in there nice and flush. And then we're gonna go ahead and insert it. You can have your phone on, it's fine. And we're gonna go ahead and pop this in here and we're gonna give it like 10, 15 seconds and hopefully you can get some kind of uh, reception bars on here, okay? If that didn't work for you, we're gonna to go to the next step. So for this next step, what we're gonna do is just go ahead and just reboot the phone, okay? If you hold down the volume button and power button, hold both buttons together and it'll bring up the power off menu. Just go ahead and slide it off. And then as soon as it's off, Give it a couple seconds and then go ahead and turn it back on. Just press and hold the power button and wait till you see the uh, the Apple logo appear on here. Okay, there it is. Go ahead and let it boot up. Once it's booted back up, give it like 30 seconds or so and watch on the top of there. Hopefully you get some uh, reception bars and your uh, SIM card is up and running, okay? If it's still down, we're gonna go to the next step. Okay, so the next thing um, to try is I want you to go into your settings. So go into your settings and then you'll see airplane mode right here, okay? What I want you to do is tap, turn airplane mode on, wait 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, turn it back off, okay? Now, turn it back on, wait 10 seconds, and then go ahead and turn it off, okay? Now go back up here and hopefully wait to see if you see any recep reception bars appear, okay? If still no go, we're gonna go to the next step. All right, so if you're still down, next thing I want you to do is go into your settings and go, go to where it says do not disturb. Uh, just simply just go into your settings here and then just do a search up here and just type in disturb. And then you should see do not disturb pop up. Let's tap on that. And now let's do this. Do not disturb is up here. Let's turn it on, off, on, off. Now go ahead and restart your phone or basically turn it off and then go ahead and turn it back on then turn the phone back on once it's uh, back on give it like 30 seconds or so and then go ahead and check to see if your sim card is working correctly if not we're going to go to the next step so if you're still down next thing we want to do is go, we want to go ahead and reset all network settings so go back into your settings here and then from here, just go ahead and tap on, go down to general right here, tap on general, and then scroll all the way down. Second to the bottom, it says reset here. Tap on reset, and then what I want you to do is tap on reset network settings, okay? So tap on that, and it will require you to put in your password or passcode. And then you can see down here, this will delete network settings, returning them to factory default. So what exactly is gonna happen the only thing you're resetting is network settings. You're not going to lose any photos or videos, your personal data and stuff like that. You reset network settings. Once we tap on this, it's going to go ahead and reboot. Once the phone boots back up, then I will have to re-enter some of my network settings, like my, my Wi-Fi passwords and so on. Anyway, go ahead and press the um, 
uh, reset network settings. You may have to, it should boot automatically, but you may have to go ahead and turn uh, turn it back on. I had to do mine, turn it back on. I don't know why, usually it just turns it back on automatically. Anyway, once it's booted back up, give it like 15 seconds or so and see if your SIM card is now working. So the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and massage the screen. And you guys may think that's ridiculous, but I've gotten a lot of these iPhones up in the past uh, simply by doing this massage here. So what I want you to do is you can get like a paper towel or a uh, napkin or even a towel if you don't want to dirty your screen up. But what, what I want you to do is I want you to press on the screen like this, okay? Keep pressing on here. And sometimes as you're pressing on here, all of a sudden you'll see you start getting the reception bars, okay? So kind of just take note of it up there and just keep on pressing. Even like on the sides here, on the sides of the phone, give it like some nice pressure. And the same thing on the back as well, okay? Go on the back. And I want you to go ahead and give it some like nice pressure, even around the lens here. Just keep pressing. Remember, all in the sides here. And then keep looking up here to see if you have any reception bars, okay? If you're still down, the next thing I want you to do is what I call the tapping method. I just start, want you to tap. Got to do it kind of hard, okay? Tap all around here, especially down here where the SIM tray is, all around there. Just keep tapping. Keep seeing if any reception bars pop up there. Turn it over, same thing, okay? All over on the back of the phone as well. Just keep tapping. Look up here, see if you have the reception bars, or at least it's like recognizing your uh, SIM card. If still no go from here, then I want you to do this, okay? I want you from here, I want you to go ahead and pop out your SIM card. And we're gonna do the same thing we did in the beginning, okay? Just give it a little and then go ahead and rub it, the contacts here with your thumb, and then we're gonna put it back in here, just like this. We're gonna slide it in, and then we're gonna see if we have any uh, any bars or if it's, if it's up and running, okay? If it's not, then from here, I want you to go ahead and turn it off. We're gonna turn it off, and then we're gonna go ahead and turn it back on. So go ahead and boot it back up, and then after it's booted back up, give it give it like uh, 10, 15 seconds, and see if you have uh, if your SIM card is working and you have reception bars and all that. Okay, if not, we're going to go to the next step. Okay, so the next step here, what we're going to do is what I call the smack method. Now, sometimes you can have your SIM card in there and it works everything perfectly, and then one day you sit there and you drop your phone, and all of a sudden it's not working. Sometimes giving it like a little smack will get it back up running again, and you'll never have a problem. Okay, so go ahead and grab your phone, and what I want to do is put your palm out. And I want you to give it a smack on the back, on the back of the phone, even on the bottom here. And keep looking to see if your uh, SIM card is properly working, okay? Also, on the screen side, I want you to smack the screen, okay? So we're gonna, even on the bottom side, go ahead and look up here and see if your SIM card is working. Now, if you're still down, the last step I have for you to do is a factory reset. So go back to your settings here, go to general, and then scroll down second to the bottom again. It says reset right here. Tap on reset. Now you can see right here up here, it says erase all content and settings. That's a factory reset. What is a factory reset? Basically, once you go ahead and uh, press on that and you proceed, you're gonna erase everything off your phone, your photos, videos, personal information. Everything is gonna be long gone as if you just bought the phone brand new and took it out of the box. So if you do that, you may wanna go ahead and back up or hopefully you already have a backup of all your important information. And then if you want to proceed, you would go ahead and tap on erase now, okay? Now, the thing is, if you guys are still down and you still have an issue with your SIM card, then what I would do personally is I will go through step number one in the beginning of the video and try every single step. Try it five, sometimes I had to do it like six or seven times on some of these phones that I buy on eBay that had these um, issues. Six, seven, sometimes the like eighth time after I go through all these steps, it would finally, I will catch like reception bars, okay? Anyways, let me know what step worked for you guys. Give me a thumbs up. If it didn't work for you, give me a thumbs down and so others can see, all right? Good luck, guys.